Hello, it is a cold, somewhat snowy day in Vancouver. Bruce is snoring on the bed beside me and I'm enjoying this hot cup of soup that I made recently. It's just one of those days. But I just wanted to do a check-in about us being evicted because we actually have found a new place. We're deciding we're still renting and we actually were able to find somewhere in our neighborhood, which I'm so excited about. So I'm just at the stage of life where I've gotten to know the neighborhood. I really like the parks. I like the stores we go to. Like also Bruce, our Frenchie, has been raised in this neighborhood since he was a puppy and he knows this area. And there's like dog parks and just walks that we go on in different routes and stores that let dogs come in and stuff like that. It's just, it's just a community that I really like. So that's great. And we also were able to extend our tenancy by a month so we don't have to move out until February, which has been amazing because right now it's the holidays and I really didn't want to have to pack and ask people to help us move and things like that over Christmas, New Year's. Break. So this has been such a relief and we're really excited about that too and so thankful. So yeah, the place that we're moving to is going to be much smaller. Right now we have a two bedroom place. It's a one bedroom place. We're definitely going to have to downsize. But the minimalist in me is kind of happy about that. I always feel, especially because I've moved so much in my life, that the less stuff I have I just feel lighter as a human being. I just don't like having a lot of stuff. And I know that I still have way too much stuff. I have way too much clothes. That's my biggest thing. And it's not because I buy a lot of clothes. It's because I still fit clothes from when I, or I just have clothes that from like 10, 15 years ago that I can't either get rid of for sentimental value or they're just things that I really like or things that I bought that I like that I've never worn and they're in great shape and I just don't want to let them go. But I'm working on that. It does help that my best friend Kim has um, a thrift store where she does consignment, so I definitely consign a lot of stuff, but then I end up buying some stuff from her store, which, you know, so it's kind of a revolving door. Anyways, I would love to take you on the journey as we pack, downsize, and move. That will be happening in the new year. Also, we're really excited because the place that we're moving to, we're going to have a bit of an outdoor balcony space as well as like a patio space. So that's really exciting. I really haven't had that yet in Vancouver. Most places I've lived in have just been apartment buildings and to have any outdoor space, you just had to go outside. So very excited about that too. Oh yeah. So that's kind of the big update of the week. Jeremy has convinced me that he is an excellent and organized packer of things and has no stress. I'm the kind of person that I would honestly start preparing now. Like I already took a bunch of our photos down like a month ago and started cleaning, deep cleaning our appliances and stuff because we're moving. And he's on the other side of the fence of being like, oh, we have so much time. Trust me, we're gonna be totally fine. But I definitely get anxious about moving. Let me know if you're the same. And I just wanna feel like I'm doing something. So I deep cleaned the oven not too long ago. I wanna pull out the fridge and do stuff like that just to have that stuff all done because for me, Though it's never happened, I always have so much anxiety about the walkthrough you have at the end of the tenancy with your landlord when they just check everything and then they give you your damage deposit back. Like we absolutely should not have an issue getting our damage deposit back. And I've never had one before in my life, like an issue with that, but I've always stressed out hugely, even though I know every time I leave somewhere, I leave it cleaner and better than when I got there because I usually do deep cleans and stuff on my own. And if things need to be replaced, I replace them. So it just gives me anxiety. So I'll just have a big sigh of relief the day that we get to move into our new place and just hand over the keys to this place and just move on to the next chapter. I am curious about the adjustment with Bruce. So if any of you have suggestions about moving pets, I've never done that before. I've never had a pet where they've been in one place for this long. I mean, back in the day when we had a family cat, we did move the cat to different houses, but I think cats are a little more resilient when it comes to that sort of thing. And our cat was an indoor cat, so she didn't really care too much about where she was as long as she was warm and comfortable. Bruce, I'm not sure how he's gonna adapt to an entirely different space. 
in a completely different type of living situation. So I don't know if there's anything I can do to help him with that adjustment. I am, again, happy, though, that we are in the same neighborhood. So at least we're not completely taking him away from something familiar into something completely unknown. So I think he'll be okay. So that's it for now. Again, I'm just so relieved because it's the week before Christmas that we can just focus on that. And we're going to have some hangouts this week with family and friends. And we kind of don't have to go anywhere too far, which is nice. And yeah, we'll slowly start packing up everything and trimming things down in January. So that's it. And I'll talk to you guys next week.